Mobile devices in hazardous areas. Where to use and how to choose the right mobile device for your application. Since mobile technologies have grown in popularity in recent years, work processes have changed completely. Ever faster wireless connections has sped up the decision-making process by making it possible to exchange data and information anytime, anywhere. These developments, often referred to as Industry 4.0, are bringing far-reaching changes to the maintenance sector, including in hazardous and explosive areas. Internet of Things, or IoT, technology has overhauled time-consuming manual processes to provide more accurate data management, increased efficiency, and significant cost reduction. Instead of multiple workers carrying radios, clipboards, pens, and cameras, a single worker can manage all operations and maintenance work with one device. These new mobile devices will change the way your team gets things done. Workers gain quick access to live information and a range of different communication methods when mobile devices are introduced into industrial areas. Valuable data is available on every worker's device via wireless synchronization, so the entire team can immediately access pictures of work procedures, further clarification, and short video clips with work instructions to help them complete more tasks while on site. High quality collected and captured data is automatically added to the live system and cloud. This data is available to all workers and the control system in real time, making it faster and easier to detect gas emissions, leaks, and spills, and predict probable downtimes. New levels of safety, security, and reliability can be achieved with remote monitoring by the control center. Unplanned downtime due to equipment or machine failure costs time and money. Predictive maintenance prevents this by determining when machines need to be serviced before they go offline or fail. Workers can use the latest mobile devices and technologies to monitor machine performance in real time and initiate an immediate response in the event of failure. Real-time data capturing and photo capabilities allow engineers at headquarters to better analyze the data obtained, leading to faster decision making. The right mobile device is an indispensable tool during maintenance work in industrial areas, but adding hazardous locations to the equation brings a new set of challenges. Fortunately, many of the challenges in hazardous areas can be solved through the use of digital tools. Accurate and timely information regarding the position and condition of mobile workers, equipment, and materials is critical for all companies. It enables predictive maintenance, the safe storage and transport of sensitive goods, and better visibility and control to prevent unplanned downtime and safety incidents. Mobile workers can retrieve current information about the status of machines and their parts via the display on a smartphone, tablet, or handheld computer designed for use in hazardous areas. Workers can communicate in real time with the staff located at the control center to report any damage, retrieve information on demand, and receive guidance. Any data updates made in the field are transferred directly to the control systems, allowing quicker decision making and reducing unplanned downtime. Permanent connection to the control center provides technicians with much better on-site protection. For example, lone worker protection systems can automatically warn the control center when a worker has had an accident or can notify and warn the worker of any hazards as they move into an area. It's easy to see that mobile devices are crucial for communication and gathering information in industrial and hazardous areas, from monitoring lone workers to enabling predictive maintenance and streamlining field support. But how do you know which device is right for you? Choosing and implementing the right solution can significantly increase workforce productivity, effectiveness, and profitability. But a device that lacks the proper protection can seriously compromise the safety of your plant and personnel. When a device is unprotected, even something as simple as a hot surface can have a disastrous consequence. Ignition sources still exist when unprotected mobile devices are turned off. These sources can include a battery short circuit in an unprotected device, a loose battery in an unprotected device, electrostatic discharge from pulling an unprotected device out of a holster. Other typical ignition sources include hot surfaces and open flames, electrical arcs and sparks, lightning, mechanical friction or impact sparks, electromagnetic and optical radiation, for example, from radios or barcode scanners in an unprotected device. Intrinsically safe mobile devices ensure that these potential ignition sources are removed and or prevented. But to eliminate the risk of explosion, it is not enough to select just any protected device. 
Zone 2 and Division 2 devices are only tested for the above listed ignition sources under normal conditions, and their batteries are not tested for temperature increases in short circuit conditions. Zone 1 and Division 1 devices, on the other hand, are tested in both normal and fault conditions, and ensure that temperatures remain low enough to prevent an ignition. In short, Zone 1 and Division 1 devices are subjected to more stringent tests under both normal and fault conditions. Your answers to the following questions can help determine whether the smartphones, tablets, scanners, and other mobile devices in your plant are putting personnel, assets, and the environment at risk. Are you using Zone 2 or Division 2 devices in a Zone 1 or Division 1 area? Your answer should be no. If your answer is yes, then you are operating at a very high risk level. It is extremely important to use devices classified for your specific area. Are you carrying switched off Zone 2 or Division 2 devices through a Zone 1 or Division 1 area? Your answer should be no. If your answer is yes, you are operating at a very high risk level. Even though the device may be turned off, there are still potential ignition sources such as a battery short circuit or electrostatic discharge that can cause an explosion. Does your Zone 2 or Division 2 device protect against and has been tested for all typical ignition sources? The correct answer is yes. If your answer is no, you are operating at a very high risk level. Will your Zone 2 or Division 2 device be used for multiple applications in both Zone 1 or Division 1 and Zone 2 or Division 2 areas in the future? To remain safe, your answer should be no. If you answered yes, you are risking a potentially explosive situation. In order to provide the highest level of safety possible, only those devices approved for Zone 1 or Division 1 areas should be used in a Zone 1 or Division 1 area. If your Zone 2 or Division 2 device develops a fault, is it protected from causing a fire or explosion? Your answer should be yes. If it is protected, you should find such markings as EXIC, UL913, FM2610, or CSA157. If you do not see these markings on your Zone 2 or Division 2 device, you are operating at a very high risk level. Are Zone 2 or Division 2 and Zone 1 or Division 1 areas clearly marked in your plant? Do mobile workers know when they are in a Zone 1 or Division 1 area? If your answer is no, you are putting both your plant and your workers at risk. Plant owners are responsible for clear zone assignment according to explosion hazards. Does your liability insurance cover incidents caused by a Zone 2 or Division 2 device found in a Zone 1 or Division 1 area? If your answer is no, and there is an incident at your plant, you may be liable for serious costs. So don't just minimize the risk, eliminate it completely. Using the wrong mobile devices creates an enormous amount of risk. To remove this risk, try the following basic steps. Use correctly certified and marked devices in a hazardous area. Select manufacturers with a proven track record of delivering mobile devices specifically for use in hazardous areas. Do not compromise on safety. Always consult with safety and certification specialists. Mobile technologies have enormous potential in industrial and hazardous areas. Collected condition data can be used to determine the degree of deterioration and remaining service life of components, turnarounds and shutdowns can be planned more easily and processed faster, and, in case of an accident, loan workers can be monitored and located so necessary action can be taken immediately. New levels of safety, security, and reliability can be achieved, improving workforce productivity and efficiency to reduce costs and save lives. To learn more about keeping your plant and people safe, visit www.pepperell-fuchs.com slash ecom.